Hello, hello. I hope you had a wonderful holiday season and a happy new year. This is my first video of 2024. Very excited. Um, I decided to do a plan with me along with a little tutorial for some uh, planner tip-ins at the end, like these little flap things that I've been obsessed with. I only filmed Thursday and Friday for this video because for the first few days, I kind of wanted to just enjoy planning by myself without the camera. Um, and also, this is my first time using both the Hobonichi Cousin Avex system along with the Take a Note planner. So I just wanted to get a hang of it first before filming as well. I will say though, I have been loving these two planners together. Um, I've said before, if I had to just pick one planner for the rest of my life, it would just be the Hobonichi Cousin. It has everything that I need and I love it. However, I feel like adding in the second planner has really, it has really kind of cleared up my mind a little bit. Um, and I will talk more about this in my January planner update video at the end of the month, just because we're only like a week into the year. So maybe I'm speaking a little bit too early. Um, so I'm going to keep doing this. And if it really has helped me, then I will talk more about my system in the planner update video. But anyways, lately my routine has been just like first thing in the morning at around 6 or 7 o'clock when I wake up, I go into my Hobonichi cousin and I write down my to-do list. This is the same as I have been doing for the past like three years. Um, I just separate the daily section into two columns and then on the left side, I write down my to-do list. And then after writing down my to-do list, I hop into my take a note planner and this is where I am doing all of my daily journaling and I'm still doing my daily prompts. Um, if you're interested in doing prompts as well, I typed out my entire prompt list for my blog on the website. Um, so I will link it down below that way you don't have to screenshot from my video, but yeah, um, I just quickly answer the prompt and then if I have some thoughts first thing in the morning, then I will definitely write it down. If not, I will just close up my planner and get on with my work day and then journal throughout the day whenever something comes up. On this day, I started off by putting down this adorable emoji sticker with a fountain pen and ink bottle. This is from the October snail parcel subscription of last year. Um, and this is on washi paper, which I have been loving. It is semi-transparent and it blends in beautifully with the page. It's also super thin, so it doesn't bulk up the planner pages. And I know a lot of you guys have been liking it as well, so I'm definitely going to do more stickers on this washi paper. And then jumping back into the Hobonichi Cousin, for the majority of the blank space, this is kind of where I'm using it as an extension of my brain. So I'm just kind of using it as a scratch pad where I jot down ideas, I do sketches, um, I make an even more detailed to-do list, if that's even possible. Um, so for example, I wanted to work on the quarter two subscription washi tapes this week. And that is like a to-do list item by itself, but then I wanted to expand on that and write down more details about like what size the washi tapes should be, the foiling and all of that. So last year I wouldn't have written my to-do list to that great of a detail, like um, with the size of the washi and the foil and the price. Um, but I feel like because I have so much space this year and I'm able to do that, it has really helped me with keeping my brain a little bit straighter and more clear. And I don't feel constrained because all of my daily journaling and chatter about the day is in my take a note planner. So yeah, I, I don't know. I've just been really loving these two planners working together. I put down this emoji head rolling its eyes because I was dealing with PayPal. This entire week was kind of like a fever dream. Um, starting with January 1st, which was New Year's, I decided to skip out on 
hanging out with family because we had the subscription slot openings for new subscribers and it was um yeah it was a fiasco and i'm not gonna talk too much about it because it i think overall it was just not fun on my end and it wasn't fun on our customers end but yeah since that day i kind of just withdrew and went into kind of like a trance and um i went on a design marathon this entire week where i slept very 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 little and i just have been designing 24 7 apart from like um you know going to the gym and stuff but i've just been designing and designing and designing and i've been designing so much that i finished all of my major projects up until march which is kind of crazy so the downside is that currently i might be a little bit delirious from exhaustion um, but the good news is that since i have finished all of my major things through March, I am really hopeful that I might be able to take some time off. But um, I say that very lightly because I said I would take some time off during November, which never ended up happening. And then I said I would take some time off during the holidays, which never ended up happening. So I don't know at this point. But anyways, that has basically been my week. Also, I got into a minor car accident either i think on new year's eve or maybe the day before which was just you know wonderful i'm okay and the car is okay but i think just having that event followed by the subscription thing um just kind of sent me into this like crazy design spree okay let's move on from that um on friday once again i started off by writing down my to-do list and I jumped into answering the prompt. For writing out my to-do list, I always like flip-flop between different structures. Um, but lately what I've been doing is starting off my day with a few bullet points of the notable things of the day. If I don't have anything notable, then I'll just skip out on that. And then I proceed to write down my work to-do list, which makes up the majority of my list. And then I leave some blank space and then I write down a few personal things, which usually is quite minimal. And then I like to draw little hearts if it's like a little bullet points of things to do with family or something that I love. And one of my goals for this year is to actually check things off my to-do list or like cross things off because last year I, I, I would get a lot of things done, but I just never cross things off. So yeah, that's one of my goals. Um, also, if a to-do list item gets cancelled then i will just strike through that on friday i was nearing the end of my design list which i was getting very excited about because that would mean that the finish line is very near um so yeah i basically designed all morning and all afternoon and when i wanted to take a break i decided to walk over to the mall and do a little shopping at muji because oh my gosh my work desk actually my entire workstation is a mess for my photos maybe maybe i give the impression that i'm very organized and neat but that is definitely not the case i do find that i work a little better when things aren't like a hundred percent straight and organized um but it is getting way out of hand so i really wanted to get some organizing compartments and stuff like that from muji to organize this weekend and i also got a pair of socks because that is needed for organizing of course all right so that was my thursday and friday and then now i will hop into the tutorial hello it is currently saturday around noon time um, I just wanted to end off this video by doing a little demo of how I have been doing the tippins, um, like these little flap things, which are my newest obsession. It is very simple to do, but I thought um, having some sort of visual might be helpful. So the first one that I did was right here. I wasn't sure where I wanted to put the monthly prompts. Um, so I just did a tip in and I plan on doing this at the beginning of every month. I have another 
tip in here. This one folds out this way, so like this. And I'm not gonna fold that out because it is my private thoughts. If you post your spreads on social media or just like publicly, um, that's another great way of adding some personal touches. The one other tip in that I did was right here. So this is a little bit different from the other ones. Um, this is what I call a compliment card in my store. And it's um, an illustration of the Mona Lisa, but like emotified. So I call this the Emoti Lisa. I was pretty pleased when I thought of that. But anyways, this one is a little bit different from the other ones because instead of just like tipping in a piece of paper, I um, adhered it together. So this entire card is uh, inside. And also another great thing is that I can actually use my fountain pen to write on the back. And this I have been using kind of as like a reference guide. So um, in my Hobonichi Cousin, I make a bunch of random lists and stuff like that. Um, but if it's like a notable list, for example, um, like a vinyl production running list, which I want to refer to in the future, then I can just put down, then I can just put it down in this like reference guide. So in the future, if I ever need to find where it is, then I know that it's on January 2nd. So anyways, the point is, I have been doing a lot of flaps and tip-ins and on Instagram I made a joke that I'm turning into Flappy Bird. What you will need is paper. Um, this is my Hobonichi notebook and I just use this as kind of like a study journal but honestly I don't think I'll ever like fully finish this so from the back side I have been taking out little bits of paper to use for my tip-ins. You will also need an exacto knife or a pair of scissors, probably a ruler, and then finally a tape runner. Um, there are other methods where you can use like washi tape or clear tape, but for me personally I want to make my flaps to be as seamless as possible, so that is why I prefer double-sided tape, but you can definitely use like washi tape if you want to. So I got this lovely parcel from my friend Lauren, and I want to just kind of add it to my planner. She wrote me a really nice card and I love how she hand wrote my name. So I'm gonna butcher this a little bit and put it in my planner. I want this to be exactly how much space I have left. So I'm gonna make some marks. I'm super excited because I have a silver version of the stencil ruler in production. Silver is my preferred metal for everything, so I'm personally very excited. Whoops, shifted a little. So hopefully that is about the same height. Perfect. All right, so then I'm going to use some of my notebook paper. Um, yeah, I have this giant piece that I can use. So I actually want this piece to be like this, and then when you fold it out, it'll be like that. So for that reason, I'm gonna put the Helen on this side. And I'm just gonna use my tape runner to glue it down. And the only reason why I'm going through this extra step of pasting it on this Hobonichi paper um, instead of just creating a flap directly with this is because this is Tomo River and I want to be able to write using my fountain pen on the other side. And then what you want to do is leave about a little less than a centimeter or like two, two grid spaces because that is what is going to be the flap. The sun is really shining today. I already went for a workout, but I might go for a run because it's very rare to have this kind of sunshine right now. Trim it a little bit. I'm going to crease this. 
So since I folded it over this way, the flap is going to open like this. But if you wanted the Helen on the outside, you just fold it the other way. And then it'll open like that. Hopefully that made sense. Then I'm going to use once again my tape runner. You can leave a little bit more um, room if you want. Oh shoot. Ah. You can leave a little bit more room if you wanted to, to make gluing a little bit easier. But I didn't want to impede my writing space too much. So I'm gonna just line this up. Perfect. And now it just opens like that. And again, I really like this method because you don't really see like washi tape or clear tape or anything like that. It's just very seamless. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Um, sometimes you might enjoy that look. And what I plan on doing here is just doodling all of the lovely gifts that Lauren sent me. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, you can just very simply do it with one single piece of paper. I just happen to have this thing that I wanted to glue in as well. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week for another video. Bye and take care.